My plate spoils at my Gibney because it was a very um, friendly environment when I just came here and I was coming from Jamaica, I came in grade 10. Well, it was a way to kind of get away from all the academic stuff in school. I've been playing sports since elementary school and coming into high school I wanted to challenge myself more. We wanted to join the sports team because we wanted to meet new people so if it weren't for a grade 9 track, we wouldn't have become such great friends. <laughs> Basketball has always been a sport I've been playing so it was like, no question for me joining it. But I joined volleyball because all my friends were playing it and I always thought it was like a fun sport to play. I joined SAC in grade 10 because a friend, Giselle, uh, encouraged me to do so. I played sports mostly because I had a lot of things going on at home and it would keep my mind off of like, the worst things and it would keep me going forward. It opened my eyes in terms of my talents and also my options in terms of what opportunities I want to take on in the future. My favorite memory would have to be OFSA because we were the first girls team to go there and it's just a nice way to end four years of playing volleyball with the same group of girls. Going on all our overnight trips. In grade 10, we had a playoff game and it was on my birthday. During halftime, I hit a bus reader. We won the game by a lot, but some of it fell a lot to me. My first year, I went to um, OFSA. I was very happy because I won that medal for the school community. Grade 10 tournament, uh, the other team called a timeout and we spent our time out helping Mr. Ambita think of a name for his dogs. That time I got awarded Athlete of the Month for Dodgeball. I felt very nice that day. You guys know how to spoil someone. In grade 11, when the senior girls volleyball team went to championship night, it was also the same day as the senior boys championship night. We ended up winning that year. And so right after we won, we went straight to the boys basketball game and they ended up winning too. And it was great to see everyone come together and cheer and support both teams on. My grade 11 year of basketball, so that's, that's the year we won YRA AA champions and we went to OFSA too. Well, it changed my school experience on a whole different level because when I just came here, I had no friends and being a part of the, the track and field team, I met a lot of friends. I would have to say it definitely boosted my self-confidence. You learn new skills, leadership, teamwork. Being in intramurals, it taught me sort of how to balance and kind of budget my time, but it was really worth going to the intramurals because I enjoyed myself and I had fun. Being a part of the athletics program has changed my high school experience because it made me feel like I was truly a part of something special. In terms of SAC, over the past three years, I was able to meet a diverse group of people and each of these people has made an impact on who I am today. All in all, it's helped me to become um, a better person in a social aspect as well as an athletic aspect. To future cross-country athletes, I wish you good luck and make sure you keep practicing because that's the only way you get better. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Naidu and Mr. Sukraj for uh, staying with us for the past four years. They believed in me and they helped me. I would like to thank our slow pitch coaches, Ambita, Mazzuli, and Ripa, as this is my first time playing Mr. Dita Masses for coaching our volleyball this year because without him we wouldn't have a team. And lastly, I'd like to thank Mr. Martino for such a great ultimate season and honestly just for coaching us and being so patient with us and bringing us to such a high level of skill. I would like to thank Mr. Vida for never giving up on me and for always yelling at me. It like pushed me to get better at the sport in volleyball. As well as I'd like to thank Ms. Carranza for allowing us to have a track and field team for the past four years. I'd like to thank all the coaches that have coached me throughout the years. So Mr. Stanilis, Mr. Abita, Mr. Dharma, and Mr. Wu. I just want to say thank you to all the coaches who have coached me and have seen me grow and develop throughout these four years. A big shout out and thank you to all my teammates throughout my four years. All of you have taught me so much and have been there for me, supporting me on and off the field, court, or whatever it was. So thank you so much. You all my family and I love you all. Big shout out to Mr. Ambita for being there uh, for three years of volleyball and seeing the potential in me um, and also for being there for me for SAC. I uh, couldn't have done anything without you sir so thank you for everything. Um, also big shout out to Mr. Jarmai, Ms. Bygrave, Ms. Wu and Ms. Wu. Mr. Wu and Mr. Morelli for um, being there for me in SAC. Uh, you guys are been a big impact and of course we could have not done anything, especially tonight without you guys. A piece of advice I'd like to give. Don't be afraid to try out for teams. Like honestly, I didn't make it my first year in grade nine and honestly, I feel like if anything that taught me to push harder, don't let it bring you down. Just try out and trust me it'll be worth it. Maybe you suck at sports. But don't let anyone ever stop you because you won't know what you're good at or what you want to do unless you try it. So yes, you'll miss 100% of the shots you don't take.
Uh, don't let your talents go to waste. If you feel that you have skills that you can use for the team, you should use it. Yeah, just try your best. Do what you have to do. Don't let anybody say otherwise. You can have all the skills that you need, but to be a successful athlete, you have to be a leader, a team player, and try to be the person that everyone wants to play with and looks up to. Even if you don't see the potential in yourself, other people will see it in you, and don't doubt them for that, because you never really see the full potential in yourself. Even the best of athletes have the worst of days. The advice I could give is honestly just, everyone has to start from somewhere. So regardless if you're starting at a low weight for working out or a higher weight, honestly just start. Really take the time to build a strong family with your team because it will take you further than any skill can. Be you, be, be you, be true, magic. Yeah. I would say get involved, play as many sports as you can because you never know what you might enjoy. It's good that you guys came out and joined a sporting team and I'm also encourage others to join also because being a part of a sporting team will help you with school and also help you with your communication skills. I just want to say thank you to everyone who is here tonight and thank you to all the teachers who have dedicated their time to us. Thank you very much and have a great night.